I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brahmins, it is another Monday morning. Welcome back. And lots of information in the parent newsletter. So if you haven't yet gotten into your email inbox, go ahead and pull that up. Seniors, it is like one thing after another for you. Lots of deadlines, but I did want to point out that this week is the last week to pers- purchase your Grad Bash tickets. If you're interested in participating in the senior trip to Universal Islands of Adventure on February 17th, you must purchase your ticket this week. Have a 2.0, no fines and fees. Tickets are $100 and that's going to include transportation, your entrance into the park and a $40 gift card that you can use while in the park on food or any other purchases. You just can't wait because we have to order the tickets this Friday in order to make sure that we get them in time for our trip. Okay, that's all I have this morning. Good morning, everyone. We have some testing going on starting Wednesday. So just be aware of your surroundings and where you're at. Those students will be testing in 6107 and 4, building 4. Other than that, uh, testing will not really be a lot of students. Um, and if you are testing, you have already been notified by our guidance counselors. Separate note, teachers, on February 9th, we're going to have a PLC on our um, data dive and our data hub. Um, I've already had a few teachers approach me about my list isn't updated. So it takes me about two hours to update every single person's rosters if I pull it from Performance Matters. But if you email me, so-and-so is not on my list anymore. Can you take them off so that my numbers look better? Absolutely. Email that to me. It takes me about 30 seconds when you do that. Um, So if you want to update your list before we go into data chats, you guys have until next Thursday to email me and let me know. Um, Other than that, just be write down your questions, any questions about the data sheet, any questions about data um, and moving forward for our PLC next week. Other than that, have a great day. So let's talk about the significance of the number nine. It's how many days you have before progress reports. <laughs> okay. Nine school days. And so um, being being teacher of record for a certain number of students who have math on this campus, um, I can tell you that some of you are not taking care of your zeros. And so if you want those grades to increase before you have to take home progress reports to your parents, you might want to get, get busy. Um, utilize your time wisely because that's how many days you have before um, before we're halfway through the third quarter. Um, third quarter, typically, we have a little bit of a dip sometimes in performance. It's, it's usual, um, but it doesn't have to be that way for you. Um, this could be your best nine weeks, but you are going to have to get to work and get those get things taken care of. We have tutorial twice a week. Uh, some of you who have multiple Fs are going to have parents that are going to know about that really soon before those nine days are up. And so just just fair warning um, that we're going to make some phone calls and um, you might have to answer before those nine days. So if you have zeros, get working on those now. Ms. Shirley. All right, students, I have a message this morning from Ms. Cardona and Ms. Lucan regarding the Hispanic Heritage Day um, dancing practices. So Tuesday is the last day, that's tomorrow, to start staying for Hispanic Heritage dances. Um, after Tuesday 131, you cannot start. There are only nine practices left and they need everyone to attend. Reminder that you do have to have a tutorial permission slip signed so that you can ride the bus home. Uh, As of right now, they have 16 students and they had a great practice last week. So hoping to see you there tomorrow if you're wanting to join. Have a awesome day. All right, I love to end the announcements with a shout out. This one's a senior shout out. 
Juniors and seniors, did you know that you could win free money from the College Board just by doing certain things within that big future list? So when you log on to your College Board account, there's a list of items for you to complete. One of those is to sign up to take the PSAT or SAT. Majority of you have already done that. Others as to add colleges to your preferred college list to have those scores sent to. Um, practice in Khan Academy. There's just a plethora of things that you could be doing. And for each one, you're entered into a contest to win a scholarship. So this congratulations goes out to Daria Kinchin. Congratulations, Daria. You have won $500. So if you haven't yet, check your email. But she, all she did was follow those items and started completing those to-do lists um, that all of us should be completing. So um, also make sure that your College Board account is linked to your Khan Academy account. That's super important. We'll make sure that we get you some information if you're not yet linked, that you can do that so that the practice that you have on Khan Academy is specific to you. So congratulations, and I hope to be able to give some more shout outs. Each year, OHS has two or three of those, um, and they're given across the nation. So your odds are pretty good. Go ahead and get that done so that you can be working towards your own personal best score. All right, make it a good one as together we move forward and be great. And be Robin. Okay. Hello, welcome back to this month's wellness video. My name is Katherine Williams and I'm the Director of Mental Health and Behavioral Supports. It's great to see you again. Last month in December, we discussed human trafficking. We defined it and talked about signs, risk factors, and how to help yourself or others who may be in danger. This month, we want to discuss how to build decision-making skills. Let's review our ground rules that we established in the previous videos. As we present our topics, these ground rules will help us have productive and respectful discussions, as well as safe learning environments within our classrooms. Our first ground rule is that we should all listen with an open mind. We need to respect each other's beliefs and opinions, even if we do not agree. We will avoid personal stories. It is okay to ask questions and to share information with the class. However, we want to be sure to leave individual names out of the stories or questions. Next, we will also be supportive of one another. We will not tease or make fun of anyone or anything that is said in this class. We will listen when someone is speaking and only one person will speak at a time. We will be respectful. Our last and most important ground rule is that whatever is shared in this room stays in this room. This is a safe space to speak and ask questions. What is said in this room should not be gossiped about later in the hallways, cafeteria, classrooms, or on social media. However, please know that we want you to discuss with your parents or guardians the material that is presented in our videos. It is important to note that if a student discloses harmful behavior or potential harmful behavior to any adult, that adult is required by law to report that behavior. Let's discuss how to make wise decisions and how to handle peer pressure. What is peer pressure? People who are your age, like your friends and classmates, are called your peers. Sometimes they try to influence you that means try to tell you or change your mind to do something. This is called peer pressure. Sometimes peers may be trying to pressure you to do something that is a good choice. And sometimes it can be a bad choice. We need to make sure that we always try to hang out with people that share our beliefs and help influence us in healthy ways. If you're in a situation that puts you on a spot that makes you feel uncomfortable, you can always do things such as say no leave the area, or get help from a trusted adult. Taking yourself out of that situation will help you to think clearly and rationally, which means we want our thinking to make sense for our health, safety, and well-being. Have you ever thought about why someone made a particular decision? 
Have you ever wondered why you made a certain decision? Or maybe even regretted a decision? Sometimes a person's needs influence his or her decision. A need is something necessary for us to live a healthy life, like food, water, and shelter. We must consider other needs too, like the need to feel safe, respected, loved, and having a sense of belonging. A want is not a necessity. Do you know the difference? An example might be, I want to have ice cream for dessert, or I want to watch a certain movie on TV, or I want to buy an expensive pair of new shoes. Our wants can turn out to be good or bad. We have to learn to control our wants and to make responsible decisions. You will be facing these decisions even when you're an adult. Can you think of a time that a peer pressured you into doing something positive? Or a time when you felt pressured to do something that was against your values? Teachers, please pause the video to allow students to discuss times they felt peer pressure. You may have come up with doing something positive, like helping others or joining a club. Or maybe dangerous, such as fighting, stealing, lying, skipping class, or maybe even using drugs or alcohol. We all make mistakes, but we need to learn from them and make sure that we aren't endangering ourselves or others with our decisions. Let's watch this video about peer pressure.